I said, that is your miracle service word. That's it. You've been like a lame man sitting at gate, beautiful. And God is speaking to you tonight, rise up. Rise up takes courage. Rise up takes light. Rise up takes the fortitude to stand alone. Rise up takes the grace, the ability to be controversial until your life proves otherwise. Rise up and walk. Lack of sensitivity. Their word comes, but they are not sensitive and they are distracted. In Luke chapter 19 and verse 44, we'll just jump to 44 for the sake of time, but the context starts from 40. Jesus wept over Jerusalem and said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. It says, if only thou had known, even in this thy day, the things that pertain unto your peace. It says, but they are hid from your eyes. And then he makes a very interesting statement. Go to 44, please. It says, and shall lay ye even with the ground and thy children within thee. And they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another for the simple reason. All of the calamities that were explained in 43 and the early part of 44 will come simply because thou knowest not the time of your visitation the time thou shall arise he says and have mercy upon Zion he says because the time to favor her yea the set time the word set time there is the word kairos the opportune time the time that has coincided with God's predeterminate counsel can I tell you, there are seasons in life and destiny where the waters of destiny is steered. And the Bible says, whoever was the first, it was about sensitivity. There were no sentiments to it. Nobody's name was put that this year you will be the one to walk. There were many people around Bethesda, the lame, the halt, all kinds of people. The Bible says they were waiting for the steering of the water. Two information the Bible does not give. The exact day the angel comes does not tell us. It just know that he's coming and be prepared. Take sensitivity. There were many people who had the potential to receive Elijah's mantle. Even those who were under his training, they were students without sensitivity. But this man said, I discern that you are going. And he said, if you can see me, it takes sensitivity, ladies and gentlemen, to receive from God. Are you ready for number three? We have to rush. Can you imagine that all I'm giving you is a charge? Number three, are you ready? What is the third reason why many people do not receive from God? I call it manifesting conditional faith. Write it and I'll explain to you. Manifesting conditional faith. You can put condition in, um, what they call that thing? Huh? Bracket or whatever English people. Manifesting conditional faith, in quotes. What does that mean? God has to move in a certain way for you to believe he has moved. Conditional faith. First Kings chapter 5. Let's look at verse 9 to 12. There are many people whose faith is tied to a certain way. If God does not move this way, I can't believe he's the one moving. Watch this. This is the story of Naaman in the house of Elisha. My servant, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, my apologies, 2 Kings 5 verse 9. So Naaman came with his horses. Remember, the king now beckoned on him. Elijah, Elisha now said, okay, come to me. And the Bible says, so Naaman came with his horses, follow carefully, and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger, listen, and said, tell Naaman, go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again unto thee, and thou shalt be clean. As a result, the Bible says Naaman was wroth, he was angry. And went away. Why? He said, Behold, I thought you would surely come out to me and stand and call upon the name of his God and strike his hand over the place to recover me. Verse 12. Are not Abana and Tapa rivers in Damascus better than all of this? May I not go and wash in them? The Bible says he 
turned and went in a rage because when he came to the man of God he expected number one that you come ah you are the now man you are the great man all right let me tell you what to do turn around do this do that you are a noble man you can't go and wash in a dirty river Jordan there are clean ones that match your status it's amazing how people come to God there is a difference between having expectation and commanding God to behave in a way that suits your lust are we together now yes your expectation is the end result the method is exclusively God's prerogative you are not given the liberty to choose how God visits you you are only given the liberty to set the vision that this is the expected picture the moment you put God in a mold and say you must use this formula for instance there are people who if they never fall down even if all the anointing in the world rests on their head, they, believe, they live disappointed. You see them as if they are returning from a funeral. God, I was here. I even sat in front. Whereas something mighty has landed upon their head. Are we together? God taught me many years ago. Yours is to believe me. Allow me to choose the method. There are many factors that guide God's choosing the method. Number one is your faith level. Number two, the human vessels available to partner with prophecy. They, they can alter the way God acts. For instance, if God's desire is that by tomorrow, if I prophesy to you that by this time tomorrow, someone will give you a job. Watch this. I've taught you how prophecy works. The spirit of wisdom goes around looking for the human vessel that will come into partnership with that word. I can choose as an act of my volition. Are we together now? To refuse to partner with God. God will have, that is the reason why the spirit of wisdom is there. He will keep using different strategies. The most important thing is that his word will not return to him void. Mary had a right to reject she would have said, listen, I don't want any trouble. I'm preparing for my wedding. Don't bring trouble. You are a wicked angel. You waited until I'm planning for wedding. You now appear and you want to disrupt my life. Carry your trouble and get out of this house. He would have respected her and he would have left. The mother of Jesus would have been called something else. But for sure, that, that incarnation would have happened. Are we together? This is very powerful. Tonight... Don't give God any conditions to have to move through a formula. Lord, the most important thing is that curses and yokes must get out of my family. How that will happen this night, Lord, I do not know. If it means shouting, I will shout. If it means lifting my hands, I will lift. Sometimes Peter did not even know when Satan entered him. He was just smiling. And Jesus said, do you know that Satan has finished his business with you? I had to pray for you. And yet he never saw Jesus praying. And Jesus said, I was praying all the while. Lord, no matter how you want to move in my life and my family, go ahead. The most important thing is that this yoke must be lifted. The most important thing is that doors will come. There are many of us, the moment we say, may God lift you, an uncle comes to your mind. You have forced God to bring that breakthrough through that uncle. And there are some of you harassing every wealthy person because you have this, this, this poor understanding. The moment they say receive in your mind, maybe even in your prayer request now, number one was his name. The name and the name of his wife. Father, this night they will not sleep. No, that's not how a believer works. Listen, you will keep disappointing yourself again and again. There are 8 billion people on earth. Not everybody will tell God no. There are people who are yielded, including Cyrus's. And if they decide to refuse, as the owner of his property called man, he's called the father of spirits. He can manipulate any spirit, including that of Pharaoh, to give you gold. Pharaoh that will not give them straw, now suddenly gives them gold. To tell you that he did not do it by his mind. He was under an influence. When they left, he said, what have I done? I carried the entire treasure of Egypt. Chase them and receive it back. God for you. You would have been blessed since. If you said, God, by your wisdom, my ways are not your ways. Is that not what he told you? You have been forcing God, walk through my ways. 
Lord, it is civil defense. It is oil and gas. Because with my little mind, I know that is the only way I can eat and give some of my relatives the remaining. And God says, listen, it is be, I can connect you to men. Force God and say, you must give me a job in NMPC. You must give me a job with Shell. You must give me a job. I must work with UN. Hallelujah. And sometimes you will not get certain blessings because you do not have the spiritual stamina to stand the attacks that come with the blessing you are asking God to give you. Every realm of reality has, it has a spiritual stamina, a requirement of stamina to be ushered into that realm. Hallelujah. By the time you get to a place that is the center of wizardry, that everybody in that place is in some cult or somewhere, and now you are a passive, careless Christian, prayer almost zero, word study almost zero, and you are saying, God, bring me in the midst of those occultists. In fact, let me be a PA to the director. God says, I love you too much. I love you too much. It's compassion, not an attack. Because God will look at you and look at your mother praying and say, no, I can't do this to this woman. Are we learning? Number four. Huh. The fourth reason. 